So that was my unboxing and first look at the Hay Hawks. I'm not sure if I'm pronounced High Hawks, Hay Hawks, coffee grinder. It's a hand grinder. Um, it was $99 on Amazon um, at the time that I purchased it. And I think, uh, yeah, you, you could see how easy it was to kind of load in 20 grams of beans. I was a little worried about um, whether the canister, the grinder area would be big enough and whether loading the beans in would just, you know, have to be done in more than one batch. But I'm happy to report that 20 grams fits safely. There was room for probably 30 in there, I would say. Uh, it feels heavy, solidly built, everything, you know, there's no threading on the, the catch cup, the bottom part where the the, the grounds come out. Um, so you just push it in. There's an O-ring there. It comes with the replacement O-ring I try to show. Um, the consistency on the coarsest setting is all I've done so far. And it looks all right, you know, it looks all right for the absolute coarsest setting, you know. Um, and it fed through very quickly, the whole thing, 20 grams ground in like less than a minute. Um, the handle feels really solid too. Um, and the, the little, I guess it's like the wooden part that your hand goes around. It's, uh, it's like, a, it's a pretty piece of wood that they carved it out of. And it's like a solid piece and it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, the way that it attaches to the lid, also it's fixed. Um, there's no moving parts there, it seems. Uh, it just it's one it looks like one solid piece or the way it was put in was, you know, I can't see any uh, way for it to come apart. Um, it has a nice grippy kind of sleeve on it, which is made out of some kind of, feels like some kind of rubber. And it's got a nice like, uh, texture on it um, and I was if you're in the market for a hand grinder and you like to do you know pour overs I'm not sure how effective it would be for espresso just because on the finer grind setting that I started out with it was taking forever but um, if you're looking for something to hand grind and you're in the market for something like a knock uh, I think this is an infinitely better choice because first of all, stuff by made by knock is um, twice the price. You never know when it's going to be in stock. And um, I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with um, made by knock products, but they have no customer support. Um, funny, funny story is I have a grinder that was no longer working consistently from made by knock and I sent it back to Scotland and four months later, I haven't received it back. I haven't even received a reply to my email. So this wasn't meant to be a, a video about knock, but um, I can't support a company that does that. They, they basically stole my grinder. Um, it's a $200 grinder. But uh, if you're interested in a hand grinder of high quality, this beats, you know, any poor legs, this, this beats the Hario. Um, it has steel burrs and um, it feels like it'll last a long time. And I haven't seen any reviews done of this on YouTube. So hopefully this is helpful to some of you guys. Um, back to the espresso thing. I don't know if it would work for espresso, but that's just because when I first turned it on, I clicked it over all the way to as fine as it would go. And it comes with zero instructions. So I assume that it'll take some time to kind of dial in, you know, how many clicks you need to click it to get the consistency you want. If you want to change the consistency of the grind, the grind size, um, you'll probably have to do some trial and error, you know, just waste some beans, use it as fertilizer, who knows what you're going to do with it. but. You know, um, it's going to take some trial and error to probably figure out where you want to go. Like, this is not meant to be a comprehensive, extensive, exhaustive type of overview. But I'm very, very pleased with this purchase. It being only 99 bucks, 
um, and of equal quality to any of the Feld grinds, air grinds, Feld twos. Um, but yeah, um, shout out to this Chinese company that made Hay Hawks. Hay Hawks. I, I have no idea how to pronounce it. It says apparently that it can do coarse, medium, coarse, medium, fine, and extra fine. It says it can do all of them. So, so far I have no reason to doubt anything that they're saying. Um, but yeah, with the replacement O-ring, this very, very solid, solid feeling, heavy polish. It's got a matte polish on it. It's, it's nice. I think I'm going to enjoy using this for a very, very long time. And um, it's, it's an equal uh, level of quality, I think, to any of the stuff from Made by Knock. So, Peter, if you're watching this, give me my grinder back. <laughs> it's not funny. Um, but anyway, um, that's this product introduction. Hopefully it helps some people. Okay, take it easy. The bottom even has this non-slip rubber foot on it, so it's not going anywhere. Pretty great. This was the absolute coarsest setting, and what I did was I clicked it about three or four times towards the finer adjustment. And I got this, clicked it three or four times again, and then I got this, clicked it three or four times again, and I got this. This is probably where I want to be for my pour overs and then I got this so this is your really fluffy fine 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 grind you know I really thought the two-tone thing addendum sorry addendum to the review the two-tone I thought that would be a deal breaker because stylistically I just didn't know but you know it looks a lot more muted than I thought, pretty sleek. Um, part of my wife making slurping sounds. Who knows what she's eating? There you go. 